Some nice firm Cantharellus confluens. I like them when they're younger like this and um, to good texture. And a couple here already collected. Um, it's clumping. And here's an older one, dried out from last time. Here's a couple more. It's still fresh. Oh, yeah. Not too bad. It's quite a big one. It's got a little rotten spot here. This is what I'm looking for. It's like little bits of orange sort of poking up through the leaf mulch. Oh, here, little shrimp. Here we have Cantharellus confluens and showing different shapes and sizes. This one, you can see the folds um, but sometimes they're quite smooth. This one's you know, reasonably detailed. Um, same as this one. Here's one that's quite smooth. Um, yeah, this one's a bit. There's a little bit of folding going on. The tops. Sometimes they look quite that because they're starting to dry up a bit. Or they've been squashed under the mulch. So I've got my pot on high flame. I'm going to take the mushrooms I've just pulled apart, chuck them in. And I'm going to sprinkle them with salt. Now I'm just going to dry fry them until the juices start to come out and they'll cook in their own juice and then I'm going to drain the juice off. So first of all we'll just 
let them start sweating and the salt's going to help bring out the moisture. There we go, they're starting to look sweaty. Okay, so just gonna drain the juice off. And you can add that to a soup or make sauce and add it back to the mushrooms later. I might add it to my rice I've got cooking. Just try and get most of the the liquid off. And these are ready now to be simmered in a bit of butter or cream. Um, I'm going to go butter and have them with my rice.